The Accessory Protocol Interface Module, or APIM, is the central computing unit in Ford vehicles that manages your sync infotainment system, climate controls, navigation, and connectivity features. When the APM fails, it can cause multiple problems throughout your vehicle's electronic systems. Let's examine the most common symptoms you should watch for. The most obvious signs of APM failure involve the sync system itself. You may experience complete system freezing, intermittent black screens, continuous reboot loops, or extremely slow response times when touching the screen. Connectivity issues are another major indicator of APM problems. This includes Bluetooth pairing failures, inability to connect smartphones, Wi-Fi hotspot malfunctions, and USB devices not being recognized. APM failure can also affect climate controls and audio systems. You might find touchscreen climate controls become unresponsive, temperature adjustments don't work, audio stops playing, or GPS navigation shows errors. Display problems are often the most visible signs of APM failure. These include pixelated or distorted images, partial screen functionality, color distortion, flickering, or complete display blackouts. It's important to recognize these symptoms early, especially if you own a Ford vehicle from 2013 to 2016 with SYNC 3. These early systems have an estimated failure rate of 15 to 25 percent, making early detection crucial for preventing complete system failure. Recognizing these symptoms early can help you address APM issues before they become more severe and costly to repair. When your Ford's APM module starts failing, proper diagnosis is crucial for finding the right solution. There are both professional and do-it-yourself methods to identify and address these issues. Professional diagnosis starts with Ford's Integrated Diagnostic Software, or IDS. This comprehensive tool can scan all vehicle systems, test module communication, analyze error codes, and verify software versions to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with your APIM module. For do-it-yourself diagnosis, start with a master reset by holding the power button for 10 seconds or more. Check for available software updates, inspect APIM-related fuses like F67 and F68, and ensure your battery is providing a stable 12-volt supply. Software-based solutions include sync system resets and software updates. You can try a soft reset by holding power and seek right for 10 seconds, or perform a master reset through the settings menu. Software updates can be downloaded from Ford's website and installed via USB. When software solutions don't work, hardware replacement becomes necessary. New APIM modules cost between $800 and $2,500, including parts and labor, requiring two to four hours for installation and VIN-specific programming. Refurbished modules offer a cost-effective alternative at $400 to $800. Ford has responded to widespread APIM issues by extending warranties for certain model years, providing regular over-the-air software updates, and significantly improving hardware reliability in newer generation 4 and later APM modules. These improvements show Ford's commitment to addressing these problems and preventing future failures.